G'day everyone, Tim Bartomote here from Local Land Services. Now we're just about to have a yarn with Daniel Volkowski, a manager of a property just east of Gulgandra about chaff decking and how they've been using chaff decking as part of an integrated weed management approach to reduce herbicide resistance. Can you explain chaff decking and how it works? Basically, we're taking the chaff portion, which is where the weed seeds are, so what's coming off the sieves, and putting it on the wheel tracks. So because we're controlled traffic, we're driving on the same wheel tracks every year. Um, we're, yeah, every year we're harvesting that a big proportion of the ryegrass seeds and all the other weeds in the front. It all ends up coming over the sieves and we're directing it yeah, straight onto the wheel tracks, moving that weed population onto the wheel tracks where they either won't grow because it's a horrible hard spot to get driven on, um, a proportion of them I'm told should rot sitting there in that chaff and um, yeah if they do grow we always have the option to mount up two nozzles on the back of a quad bike or something run along and just spray them separately shielded sprayers something like that so what do you do out here what's your your system it's pretty much all continuous cropping so wheat canola barley chickpeas lupins etc um, and we've also brought in a bit of sorghum in recent times in the summer crop just to break things up a bit more too. Yeah, we've got a few problems with ryegrass, resistant ryegrass. Um, yeah, we've been rotating chemistry and doing everything by the book, but there's still a few paddocks in particular where we're yeah, really battling with the ryegrass. And you've explored different options on how to tackle those? Yeah, obviously all the, the chemical options, but we've also done a bit of narrow windrow burning. Um, the trouble with it was we'd either, in a good year, we'd lose the whole paddock or if we didn't have enough of a windrow, we just couldn't get it to burn or it got a bit wet and mouldy and wouldn't burn properly. So it, yeah, it had, its, it had its problems. And so what headers do you run? You've got two headers that uh, you're using? Two John Deere's, a 9670 and a 9610. The 9610 we've made a bit of a shoot ourselves, just folded up some, some steel for that and it seems to be working quite well. It was really easy to, to fit and get the bugs out of. The 9670, we bought a, a kit one from a, a manufacturer. It was very painful to put on. The instructions that came with it were terrible. But once we got it on and working, it's, um, oh, they both just sit at the back of the header and you don't have to think about them again. Yeah. And so it just opened up more options to yeah, control, yeah, control those weeds. Yeah, it gives us a lot of options to play with them. And even if we, even if we don't control them as such, if all our ryegrass wants to go on those two stripes rather than spread through the whole crop, we're already out in front. And I'm told that it'll be a lot, lot less dusty for the sprayer over summer too, having that extra chaff on those tracks. So how are you monitoring the population? Yeah, so um, Tim Bartomote from LLS has been out and counted ryegrass population in a few of our worst paddocks. And that was before we've been chaff decking and logged with GPS locations of those patches. And so over the coming years, we'll go back and have a look and see if that population is moving onto the tracks and less and less in between. Thanks so much for watching. If you want any more information about chaff decking or integrated weed management, then get in contact with your local LS Ag Advisor.